to my channel so for this video i'll be doing the butterfly locks um i i i think they look similar to the distress locks but i just did mine a bit looser than i would for the distress locks so when i was wrapping and taking out i will be very loose just so it doesn't come out to be kind of stiff or whatever so clearly i'm showing you how to prep and I used two strands to continue wrapping and I start wrapping with one strand. So I was just showing you the length that this stuff should, could go up to. People are usually like, okay, so I need to get a waist length or the mid back or the butt length. Can I still use this one? As of right now, I feel safer with this one. I've tried the 14 inches, I've tried the 16 and the whatever inches and it wasn't really as fluffy. I think the shorter it is, the more the fluffier, the fluffier it gets. And I was just showing you how long those really are. So it's eight inches, but it could actually stretch to like 24 or even 20 inches. So I'm gonna start parting my client's hair and I'll be doing the free parts. And I already made a video of how I part my client's hair all the way to the top and I hope it was able to help some of you guys. And I also have the video attached to this one as well. So check my description and you'll see a video of me um, strictly showing you how to part and how i part my hair i'll try to make better parting video but that was all i have for now so before i forget i use color 1b and i have about she had about 48 um counts so it was 48 counts and i used about i used about five packs of hair yeah five packs of hair and this is the bob so well i'm gonna finish up um prepping my client's hair before i start wrapping it and i'll be seeing something if i need to so i usually curve my client's braids and i sh also showed you how to do the bob braids on the hair that is long or longer than the bob or something when you when the hair is as long as the bob so i just crocheted the roots and then took the ends and then crocheted them and then twisted them and then then i start um prep um wrapping I do those usually at the bottom when I feel like the hair is like too long. When I see that your hair is like kind of long, I will do that for you. So, so hers was like almost as long as the bob, so that was why I did that. But for some, for some of them, it wasn't really as long, and I'll just tell them, it's already bob, so it's already short for you to even take out. So it shouldn't be as you know, it shouldn't be that hard if your hair is not really as long. So as you can see, I'm just doing it very lightly. Usually for the um, usually for the distressed one, I would take out. I usually have like chunks and stuff, but this one is just a bit different. I don't know how to explain it, but it's a bit different. Again, like I said, they all look alike. You should, you can just do one of a few things to make yours different or unique and all that stuff, but they all do look alike. We have different names, but again, Butterfly has more kind of, I don't know, curves or like loose, loose curves to it. Not curves that are coming out, but just something, something different. But anywho, this is mine. <laughs> And I'm doing it for you guys right now, and I hope you like it. And then towards the ends, I will just wrap it all the way up, and then I'm going to rub with my palm. And that's how I get the look. As you can see, I started wrapping with one strand, and then I'm going to continue wrapping with two strands. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. I'm doing the same thing for the rest of my rest of the video. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. And also, for the hot water steaming method, um, I also showed you guys what I did towards the end. So... I boiled the hot water, dip um my towel in it, and then I used the steam that comes from the already dipped her towel, and I just placed it on my client's hair just so it could be more flexible and not too stiff. It's already not stiff to be honest, but just for more flexibility, that was why I did that, and that is how I do my my hot water thingy. Mm, I'm trying to see if I forgot to say anything. I already told you guys how many packs I used, so yes. Well, if you have any other questions, feel free to ask, ask me and I always answer the questions. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. Again, people have asked me, can you do the, the long and butt lens? Know that um, I'm able to, I can only record what my clients book. So, if I have a client that book for a touch-up or for butt lens and all that stuff, I will definitely make a video for that one like I am. I just cannot wait for that day to come. <laughs> I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. Take care and be safe.
Thank you.